What's good, YouTube? This is Quinny Levy Turn here coming to a quick video on John Wall's potential. I've been looking at this kid since he got drafted number one pick by Washington Wizards back in 2010, and I wanted to have a quick update about how he has improved over his last couple seasons. So I always knew the dude can play. We all knew he could play with number one. He had <coughs> last year he was a little injured, but he came back and dropped 18 a game. But the problem with John Wall that he has to realize is that he got to keep his seat like Russell Westbrook. Derrick Rose, like, you got all this talent, but you got to control your talent like Chris Paul do. And once he gets to that level, he'll be one of the elite point guards in the game. But he, he hasn't done that yet. He's still shooting 42% from the field as of this season. And as of career, he shoots 42 for 23. For this season, though, he's averaging 19.6 points a game, 8.9 assists, 2.1 steals, 32% from the free throw line. And I mean, 32% from the three-point line, 86% from the free throw line, and 4.6 rebounds per game. That's a do-it-all point guard. The only knock I'm having on John Wall now is that he's shooting 42% from field goal. But this team is winning. He dropped 30 points the last three games, and he he's pretty much been carrying his team since Bradley Doe been out, and they've been winning. They the AC in the West, in the East right now, and this guy he really can play. 19.6 points a game, 2.1 steals, 32% from the three-point line. That's improving. His career, he shoots 25% from the three-point line. And he shoots 32. That's a major improvement. He's improved his mid-range. I've been watching a couple of the games. His mid-range is now being, it's not automatic, but it's, it's more reliable. He's coming up. Cause you look at it. Derrick Rose been injured. Ray John Rondo been injured. He, he can actually move up and take one of their spots because... They all been injury prone, and Westbrook has been playing back to his top 10 player status. John Wall can easily get in the top 20 best players in the league if he continues playing like on this level because he's doing it all. He's rebounding at a 4.6 rate and getting nine, 9 assists while still scoring 19.6 points a game and getting 2.1 steals per game. That's doing it all. He just got to get his three point percentage up and his field goal percentage up, and he can easily be an elite point guard. Tell me what you guys think about John Wall and his potential. What you think he can wrap, match? I think his average can go up to 23 points a game, 10 assists, 2 steals, 40% from the 3-point line, 45% from the field, and 90% from the free throw line. So he already had 86 and 5 rebounds per game. That's his ceiling to me. But he could have, he, he can't ceiling people, but that's his ceiling in stone. He, he never seemed like he was a score for a springboard. He always seemed like he was a pass first, a pure point guard with the passing. He always he, he averaged 8.1 career assists per game for his career. He averaged 8.1, but this season he averaged 8.9, so he almost had 9 assists. So he always been a pass for a spring guard that can score in the paint, but now since he's getting the jump shot going, he can score in, in the, from a variety of different areas, which is going to up his field goal percentage if he can continue to improve that. So just let me know what you guys think about John Wall potential and what he can, what's his ceiling to you guys. Just want to have a quick rant slash debate about John Wall. I gave you all the stats. I'll leave them in the box section, or you can just check it out at ESPN.com on John Wall's page. And hit me back in the comment section what you think about John Wall's potential. I think he can be an all-star easily this year if this team can stay in that playoff seat. Right now, they're the eight seed. Like I said before, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Come in with more game video. This is a game review channel if you're new to the channel, and I do NBA talks. So if you want to hear more about my NBA talks and my game review channel, subscribe. And thanks to Lumen Network TV for being, you know, letting me be a partner. I, I love being a partner with them. So, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Peace.